Today I'd like to introduce uh, to you evidence-based merchandising for athletic shoes. Evidence-based merchandising integrates the structural parameters of shoes with the individual's uh, biomechanics, stature, and injury profile. The advantage of this method for selecting shoes reduces injuries and increases everyday and athletic performance. To be able to do evidence-based merchandising, you need to know two important factors. Number one, you need to know the structural parameters of the shoes that you're selecting. And we have shown you in a recent uh, on a previous um, uh, presentation on how we measure for um, shoe stability and how we get a stu uh, shoe stability index that uh, reflects the uh, stability or the support of a shoe. The second thing you need to know is how to do a gait evaluation. Now, uh, one of the uh, major factors in causing injuries in uh, runners and walkers is the torsional support, the torsional forces that occur in the lower extremity. As the foot starts to pronate or go inward, that causes the tibia to rotate internally. That locks into the femurs, called the screw home mechanism, and goes up into your hip and your sacroiliac. These torsional uh, forces, if not controlled, can cause plantar fasciitis in the foot. It can cause medial shin splints. It can cause iliotibia band tendonitis. It can cause uh, runner's knee or patellofemoral syndrome, and it can go up and cause hip pain and sacroiliac pain. The goal of evidence-based um, uh, selection of shoes is to find the right shoes that are going to control the rotation going up the lower extremity. Here in the chart above here is a schedule of uh, shoe, st uh, shoe stability. So as you move up the schedule, the shoes get more and more supportive. So up in this area, the more severe pronators and people that have a lot of torsion going up the lower extremity uh, should be fitted with these shoes. And as you move down, the less torsion and the less pronation and the less support you need. So let's go into a three-point gait evaluation. So when doing a gait analysis to determine how much torsion is going up the lower extremity, the best way to do is to do a visual analysis of a person walking. And we usually do this with the pant legs up and uh, train our sales staff uh, how to visualize uh, a gait analysis. What we look for is foot pronation. We look for tibia rotation and we look for heel deviation. These, the more movement there are in these areas, the more torsion that is going up the lower extremity. So let's take a look at uh, someone and uh, see what it looks like on a real person. So when we look at an individual, we're gonna look at the tibia, we're gonna look at the drop of the arch, and why don't you turn around, and we're gonna look at the heel. So go ahead and turn it on. So as this individual is walking and they go to pronate, you can see where the tibia internally rotates and the arch drops. Then when that occurs, go ahead and turn it on. You can see, go ahead and rotate, where the heel goes outward. It's called a uh, uh, valgus heel. So in really uh, excessive pronators, you'll see this. So what we want to do is when we get a shoe, we want a shoe with a high uh, stability index that will control this motion, right, this motion right here. This is a relatively effective way of being able to do a gait evaluation of your customers. Every shoe store that specializes in running shoes should have their sales staff to be able to uh, evaluate this uh, gait procedure. I would like to, in summary, uh, recommend that um, all uh, sales staff and athletic stores should um, uh, uh, involve themselves in an evidence-based um, merchandising system where customers are fit properly uh, so that um, 
injuries do not occur and so that their sports are more enjoyable. If you have any uh, questions about what I presented, uh, please go uh, to my um, email, which is uh, orthosportspt at gmail.com. Thank you.